recording the acquisition of fixed assets. This is the first issue that we have in the life cycle of a fixed asset because it's the acquisition of it. And the question we have is what amount should be reported as that fixed asset when it is acquired? Well, there's a very simple definition for it. It should include all of the costs necessary to get that asset ready and available for use. If it's a piece of equipment, getting it ready and available for use as a piece of equipment. If it's a building, getting it ready and available for use as a building. So what costs are included? Well, we have the costs of the item itself, the piece of equipment, the truck, whatever it is. But also we may need to include shipping costs, installation costs, labor, overhead, materials if we constructed the asset ourselves, There might be some preliminary testing. We install it, we need to make certain that it's working. And the last item we have listed here is connected to a building when we buy land. If we buy land and there's a building on that land and we don't want that building, we need to destroy that building, we need to remove that building. Well, the process of destroying and removing that building is called raising the building. The cost of raising the building, the cost of destroying it and removing the building from the land is allocated to the land because removing the building is one of the costs necessary to get the land ready and available for use. We don't want the building there. We need plain land and so that's the cost of getting the land ready and available for use. So raising an existing building or structure is part of the cost of preparing the land and so it's going to be allocated to the land that was purchased. We also have the situation where we may make basket purchases where a number of assets are purchased together. Well, the cost that is paid has to be allocated to those individual assets that were purchased based on their relative fair market value. Now, one of the combinations of assets that's common to, to purchase together is land in a building. Now, not land in a building you need to destroy, but land in the building that sits on that land. It's the office building. You buy the land and you buy the building. Well, we need to take what is the fair market value of the land, what is the fair market value of the building, and take that price we paid and allocate it to the land and the building based on the fair market value. So the cost that the asset is originally recorded at, that acquisition cost, includes all of the costs necessary to get that asset ready and available for use.